Salutations, welcome to another episode of Fox Plays uh, Wargame Red Dragon, the Busan Pocket Campaign. So in last last uh, episode we we took Seoul with our uh, our newly arrived American forces, um, but we still have uh, battles to win here in South Korea. So let's see, first we need to assess uh, what we're going to need for, for air support. Okay, and, and this is actually not an attack. Like, they, they have sent an F-5 squadron, but they have so they have not sent ground units. So... Oh, no, this is the battle that we won uh, previous episode, because it was so short, we, we did seal as well. And these would be the forces that, rec that uh, retreated from there. Alright, and... Do we have time... Do we have inclination to send these guys down to rearm and refit? I don't think we need to. Um, let's see. What are we fighting here? We're fighting an artillery company. Tank battalion, lots of T fifty fives, infantry battalion, and an anti tank company. See if we can nail the um, the command tank there. If we can kill this tank, this one tank, this whole battalion is dead. I'd love to do that. So let's, and they have no anti air cover really at all. So. That would be a perfect place uh, for our F4Es. And honestly, I don't think I'm going to bring them anywhere. Um, and we'll take our uh, fighter squadron um, that has uh, the KF-16Cs with all the AMRAMs. And we're going to send them up here because we're gonna we're expecting air cover in the form of those su 25 ks and we want it, those are high priority targets to kill um, also uh, we've got mig 29s inbound as well as what are these I don't think we can see them I'm too far back and and a5 eyes those have cluster bombs those will cause problems. Okay. We can still technically afford to spend 10 points and still get uh, the 72nd Armored Battalion. And those are going to be our M1A1 Abrams. Is this just more M60s? Eh. Alright, none of these units can attack, right? Okay. All right. Well, honestly, there's there's really nothing else for it. So, let's uh let me see here. Yeah. Yeah, let's let's go uh Yu Chang. All right. So, we control all these points. And we're going to need to remember to put command vehicles in these two. Um, but me All right, so we need, uh, they need to kill 1,400 of our points. We need to kill 900 of their points, 950, give or take. Um, but I think we're going to have a massive advantage because they have no anti-air at all. So we're going to hold, and we're going to put the most, like, most of our points into, in, uh, into air support and recon and just flood the area, and it's going to be awesome. All right, here we go. Hmm. Right, we're not going to take a fob. No, he needs to go to to Gojang because he needs to be like right there. Our command tank. Go 
goes there. Honestly, it probably goes there. And then for infantry. them as reserves and then have some anti-tank units there that still gives us plenty for oh we have no recon still gosh darn it so that still leaves us with plenty for for some tanks now these are terrible these are decent. But they have poor visibility. That's not enough, really. Um. Right, so we're going to use... Uh, an infantry unit to just spot for us. Okay, um, so I'm gonna have to take a pause here because I have some stuff that I just realized I need to get done, but uh, to you it will appear as if I am uh, starting the battle. Alright. Okay, and I'm hoping that worked. Oh, okay, we want to send all those vehicles back there so that they don't get uh, murdered. And we want to start sending these guys on sorties basically hey, immediately. Because they, because they have no anti-air, there's no reason not to just have these guys constantly flying around shooting stuff. some tanks there so that uh, I can protect this road and use it as a supply line uh, because I need to get some, um, some supply trucks in here. Oh, are we getting attacked here too? I'm annoyed that I lost two tanks. What do they have that's anti air? They had no anti air. I looked, I checked, I made sure. Ugh. Disaster.
easy victory. All right, we lost, I think, a pair of tanks. And that was that was really annoying. But I think, all right, a pair of tanks and a K two hundred. So, although annoying, we did kill like a thousand points for only about a hundred. So, definitely worth it. Okay, well, um, I think I'm going to call it here. Um, I do play these, uh, I do play the Busan Pocket campaign in kind of uh, big sections, so I play like three or four video, three or four games at a time, but I think I'm going to call it here, um, and, uh, well, I might have some, some other new interesting content, uh, as far as Wargame Red Dragon, uh, here soon. But anyway, uh, till then, I've been Fox, this has been Wargame Red Dragon, thank you for watching, hope to see you next time, take care.